Hey teachers, I sell on Teachers Pay Teachers, and maybe this is a site that you've thought about selling on yourself. There are a lot of different things, tips and tricks that I wish I knew before I started selling on the site. So in this series, I'm going to be sharing some of my favorite tricks with you so that you can be ahead of the game. In today's video, I'm going to show you all about getting started with product creation in PowerPoint and how to create a template for yourself so that it's easy to get started every time you're ready to create a new product. PowerPoint is the best tool for product creation because it's really easy to manipulate pieces of worksheets and different things that you're creating. If you create in word processor, it's really hard to move around different text boxes and elements without them getting stuck around each other. In PowerPoint, it's really easy to move around different images and text boxes and resize them as you go. So let's get started. I have opened a new PowerPoint presentation. I am on a Mac and I will drop the version of PowerPoint that I'm using right here and in the description below so that you can see the version that I'm in. To create my template, I am first going to clear my whole slide by selecting all and deleting the text boxes. Then I'm going to resize my slide so I can go to the design tab at the top and then slide size and page setup. I want my page to be letter size, so a typical eight and a half by 11. If you go to slide size, you can find that letter paper is already there for you. And it'll reduce the size by a little bit because remember when you're printing materials, you won't want them printing edge to edge on your paper anyway. So this is the perfect size to work with. I chose letter paper and I'm going to choose the buttons on the left hand side for a portrait view. And then if I want horizontal paper, I can choose both the buttons on the right hand side and you can see that it flip flops the height and width. When I click OK, I usually choose scale up and there's nothing on my paper so it won't affect anything. And now I can see that the size of my canvas has changed for me. Something that I think is essential on every template that I wish I knew before I started selling on Teachers Pay Teachers was my name and the year. That way, if a teacher has my resources in a binder and they see a single page of my resource and want to return back to my store and buy something else from my store, they know just by looking at the paper where to go. It also is just helpful for copywriting purposes. If someone sees my thing, my paper, they know where the page came from. So one way you can do this is by going to the top and inserting headers and footers to your slide. So you can click insert and header footer. This will allow you to put it on the same spot of every page. So you could type your name. And it will show you where it will appear on the slide. You can choose where you want it to be and choose apply to all and it will just stamp that on the bottom of every page for you every time you add a new slide it will automatically have that stamp at the bottom that's a super way easy way to apply a footer to your page although sometimes it can be in the way of pieces on your resource what i usually do is i just apply a text box and that's easy for me because i can move it to a new spot if needed to do my text box copyright I type my name and store name and the year and then I choose a font that goes with my brand so a font that my buyers are used to seeing from me something very readable and I shrink it down and I just pop it in the corner of my page and then usually when I'm working with slides, I tend to duplicate the slide a lot so I can follow the pattern of whatever resource I'm creating. So the pages and the resource are very cohesive. So I, after I have my little stamp in the bottom of my page, then I go up to the top. I know you can't see this on my screen, but if you click file, you can click save as template and you can title your template as TPT vertical or however you would like to save your page. And then the next time you open PowerPoint, you will have your choices for your normal presentation templates that are included with PowerPoint and you will have the template that you created for yourself, 
TPT Vertical. Let me know in the comments what TPT creation tips you'd like to see next, and thanks for watching! Make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss the next video and let me know in the comments what you're looking for next. Thanks for watching.